You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk some Arrow. We're going to re uh, review last week's episode. Now, normally, if I miss a review for whatever reason, such as being sick, I normally don't back backtrack. I just kind of move forward, maybe give a small little discussion on how I felt about the, the review, uh, and then move forward from there. But considering that Arrow is going to be on hiatus, and considering what happened in that episode, I definitely had to review it. Now, overall, the episode was pretty good. Uh, I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see Adam in his outfit until the end. I was expecting to see him a little bit more throughout the show, but nonetheless, it was cool to see him. Now, you know, the biggest surprise here, let's just cut to the chase, let's not waste any time, was Ra's al Ghul telling Oliver he wants him to take his place. Uh, it was very surprising. I wasn't expecting that. And it, it's kind of interesting because I've had time to think about it now. And I don't know what CW is going to do. They're probably going to go the typical, well, he's a hero, so he's not going to take the offer. I kind of hope they don't. I kind of hope he takes this offer. And I mean, when you really sit down and think about it, what does Oliver really have left to live for instead, except his sister, who now he's trying to fight the League to protect? So, I mean, every woman he's ever come across has, has either died or left him. Felicity's with uh, Ray, obviously. Laurel, I don't think, is ever going to see uh, Oliver again. I don't know if she's going to go that route again. Obviously, Sarah Lance has passed away. Even the girl he dated a couple of seasons ago that was in the Vice Department uh, is a paraplegic now. So it's just women and Oliver just don't mix. He knows this. So by taking over the league, he would always be in a position to keep his city safe and the people he loves safe. Because when you think about it, the league's been around since season two. They've been a thorn in Oliver's side. What better way to get rid of that than to just run it yourself? Maybe he can turn it into the League of Heroes. Who knows? I'm not saying that he should do that, but um, it would make for an interesting, interesting spinoff. You know, like, instead of making the, the decision that we probably all think he's going to make, and he probably will, he decides to take over. But um, obviously, I think people want to see him show down with Roz and, uh, you know, get a little bit of vengeance, and I can understand that. Now, the interesting thing here was Thea giving off, um, uh, excuse me, Malcolm Merlin to the league, uh, which was a bit surprising, but obviously very understandable uh he completely betrayed her and you know he she was really you know i don't want to say well actually no to be fair considering what he taught her and how he kept her safe she was devoted to him uh to a certain extent up until she found out what she found out and then i gotta kind of hand it to laurel uh, two things i gotta hand it to laurel and then i gotta take that hand away <laughs> see on one hand I, I gotta give it to her for really being a big person and not letting bloodlust and hate blind her from the fact that Thea did not do this on purpose. And I think she knows Thea well enough to know that Thea is not going to kill Sarah intentionally. And then when she learned that Mer Malcolm Merlin was involved, then she goes and she gets, she tries to get revenge. I mean, really? I, I, she should know by now, at least. I mean, she doesn't know everything, but she should have had at least an idea not to fuck with Malcolm Merlin. There's no way she's going to go in there and beat him with a, with a cop club. And it was very embarrassing to watch her try and fight him. And Malcolm is just, obviously, he's not going to touch her. You know, he's, he's he'll beat up on her a little bit, but I don't think he was ever going to really kill her or do anything to seriously harm her, uh, especially considering the relationship that her and Oliver do have, as well as the fact that Malcolm knows that right now he's working with Oliver, they're focused. But then the lead comes in and snatches him away, and, uh, you know, I, I thought that was, again, very interesting that Thea gave him up. And then, this is where it got a little weird for me. Then Oliver decides to go and rescue Malcolm, which to me is kind of weird. I don't think, and I like the fact that Diggle went. You know, I, I, sometimes I, I, I want to see Diggle in action more. But anyway, so when they finally went and they went after Malcolm, you know, they get captured. They fall for a trap. There's a nice moment between Oliver and Diggle where he asks Oliver to be his best man, so on and so forth. And then Oliver finally reveals why he went to save Merlin. And to me, either... It's the truth, and it's just a bad reason, or he's just lying to Diggle and there's something else. I don't know what the something else could be. I'm really, really trying to find why he would go back and save Merlin. You know, I, I don't think getting revenge on Roz for losing, I don't think his ego right now is the reason. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I know he, he has that personality trait, but when it comes to being the arrow and saving people and helping people, it, it just doesn't make sense for him to go back and go after Roz. So I'm a little puzzled on that, and I'm hoping that that's not the truth, because if that's the truth, I think that is kind of poorly written. Uh, because when you really think about it, it makes perfect sense for him to just leave the league alone and let them do what they do to Merlin. 
I understand he doesn't want his sister to have her soul eaten away or whatever the case may be. But you know what? Uh, she'll get over it. <laughs> when you really think about it, considering what Merlin's did, I, I think that at the end of the day, she will look back on it and say, you know what? I don't feel good about what I did, but he made me murder somebody and that trumps all. And then you would have the league off your back. There'll be no more Malcolm. It'll be you and your sister just like you wanted. And she can be part of the Arrow team, and you guys fight the city. You got Diggle, and, and now Ray's up in the, in the, in the mix. and It would have been all hunky-dory, but no. So, And I understand that there has to be that climax. There has to be Oliver and Roz. You know, that's probably the season finale. But, um, yeah, it's just kind of weird. I, I think there's another reason behind it. I think we'll find out as time progresses, and I really hope there is, because if there's not, and he's just going back there, uh, not only to save his sister's soul, but to just kind of get revenge for his ego, yeah, no. This doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we have to wait a couple of weeks now. It sucks. Obviously, I enjoy Arrow about as much as I enjoy The Flash. The Flash, obviously, is a couple of, you know, weeks away as well. But we're going to discuss some Flash uh, this week as well. Probably tomorrow I'll do a video. I really want to kind of dig into what's going to happen now that Dr. Wells is going to reveal who he is. I think there's a lot of interesting things that are com going to come out of that. But uh, until then, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk some Arrow. We're going to re uh, review last week's episode. Now, normally, if I miss a review for whatever reason, such as being sick, I normally don't back backtrack. I just kind of move forward, maybe give a small little discussion on how I felt about the, the review, uh, and then move forward from there. But considering that Arrow is going to be on hiatus... And considering what happened in that episode, I definitely had to review it. Now, overall, the episode was pretty good. Uh, I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see Adam in his outfit until the end. I was expecting to see him a little bit more throughout the show. But nonetheless, it was cool to see him. Now, you know, the biggest surprise here, let's just cut to the chase. Let's not waste any time. Was Ra's al Ghul telling Oliver he wants him to take his place. Uh, it was very surprising. I wasn't expecting that. 